All right, quick time. How to speed run self-improvement. Step one, focus on your mental health. Meditate, gratitude journal, get outside, touch some grass, get some sunlight on your skin. Take a minute to appreciate the trees, the sky, the grass, the flowers. Take a minute to just appreciate what is around you. Savor the moment. If you are in a moment that you really enjoy, that you're having a lot of fun in, take a second to just step back and just really appreciate it in your mind and be grateful and let like that warm feeling of appreciation just course through you. Step two, focus on your physical health. Get moving, get exercising. This plays into mental health too. So do these two kind of like together, right? So for mental health, like just do something simple, like just do a walk or like a few push-ups when you wake up, you know, like that sort of stuff, right? Step two, get into the gym. Focus on building your body. Get into some sort of sport, actually. Not not just a gym. Get into some sort of sport. If that's martial arts for you, that's martial arts for you. If that is football for you, that is football for you. If that is basketball, that's basketball. If that's gymnastics, that's gymnastics. That's swimming. Hell, it could even be biking. So, <laughs> do that. You know, just have something that you like a mental discipline, right? Ignore those wires, by the way. You didn't see anything. Get into something that's sort of a physical and mental discipline, and you will reap rewards that you didn't know you could reap. I'll just say that. Like, it is genuinely life changing once you start actually being active in life. Step three. Socialize. Once you have the confidence from your physical exercise and having good mental health, get out there. Get talking to people. Make some friends. Enjoy people's company. Don't just lock yourself away. Genuinely try and build connections with other people. Be authentic too. Don't try and change who you are just so other people like you more. Be authentic so that people like you for you. And you will attract the right people that way. You will attract the right people in your life that way. Step four, gain wisdom. Read some books. Look at your life experience and see what lessons you have learned. Because I guarantee to you, every bad moment in your life has taught you something. Whether you actively know what it has taught you, doesn't matter. It has taught you something. So study your life in that way and try to learn from your past mistakes. Try to learn from your past hardships. Try to learn from other people's lives. Just gain as much wisdom as you can so that you can build up your knowledge base and you can start like living life in a way that feels wise. You get me? Step five, finances. Get a job. Do something like online business. Just try and make money, right? Now, when you're trying to make money, it's almost better to not really focus on the money. You want to be focusing on solving a problem. Now, this is like business shit, right? If you're just doing like a regular old job and it's paying you well, good for you. Like, you're chilling, right? You don't need to think about like, oh, solving problems, entrepreneurship, uh, you know, like you can just focus on doing your job. But if you want to do online business, focus on solving a problem first and foremost. That is what you do. You focus. You fix problems. You're not here to make money. You're here to fix problems. And you will get paid for fixing those problems. Step zero. That's right. There's a step zero in this. Have faith. And have like a religion. 
of sorts. Now, these are, like, when you're at step zero, these are kind of interchangeable. But I will say, get a religion. Follow Christ. That is, like, it, it's hard to describe why, but just follow Christ. Just give it a chance if you haven't, right? And you will see why throughout history so many people have been religious. But if that's not something that you're interested in, have faith is step zero. Have faith that things can get better. Have hope that things can get better. That is the most important thing. Without that faith, you will not progress. You will not see a brighter future if you haven't envisioned one first. So yeah, that's everything I have to say today. I hope this helps you in your self-improvement journey. And yeah, keep running when no one else is. I'll see you in the next one.